I'm in. Time to find some owls. Don't get distracted. Find a good spot to eavesdrop on the ballroom. And security can't know you're there, so keep a low profile. There's the ballroom. Looks like the party's in full swing. Stop that. I don't want to hear you, friend. Because my grandmother had the heart of one. No, I don't care what happened to you. You promised me a heart. I have to attend this banquet, but when I'm done, you and I are going to have to check something like this. Hotel manager know back to do that. You'd better. This must be the entrance. Why else would they put this here? Again with your stupid theory? You saw the elevator. The hotel doesn't have a 13th floor. Don't mind me. <laughs> we'll impress the voice tonight. I'm sure of it. Belfry, I disabled the security systems. Nicely done. Remember, those guards are court members in disguise, so take them down if you can. Don't let them get away! They won't overpower us! Opening. Perfect. Alfrey, I'm outside the ballroom. Heading in now. Good work.
think this is good. Great, Ethan. Who would have thought this would give the rest of us such a kick in the pants? Sorry to interrupt, but it's time. Ah, of course. We'll have to continue this later. That's a match. It is my absolute pleasure to present our host for the evening. That has to be the voice of the court. He's not even trying to be subtle. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. Is it? You know I can't take phone calls when I'm working.
the arrangements made? If it pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs. into a secret elevator. I can't track him. Weird. Somehow he went missing when he was between the floors. Batgirl, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. Better not try it and risk triggering an alarm. This should take me to the 13th floor. Belfry, I found one of those weird court doors. This must be it. Understood. Tread carefully. Go. Belfry, any clue where to go from here? Belfry? Nothing. There must be a jammer in here. They say an owl can turn its head all the way around to better see what is behind it. A court of owls is to watching that strange side of Gotham's walls. They actually pressed old court speeches on vinyl. Talk about analog. Like the voice called for a meeting. What were they looking at? But it certainly cannot be underestimated. It is a predator after all. And so are we. No. 
population was compromised. Found to be moonlighting for cockroaches. We eliminated him. Our allies... Crap. The court really did kill Langstrom. If I can get this recording to a judge, it could be enough for a conviction. There's still plenty to clean. Destroy everything. Make it so Langstrom never existed. We must send them. I recognize some of these names. These people are either dead or missing. Langstrom's in here too. This must be a hit list. of Gotham architecture. The court must have been involved in the construction of these buildings. City Hall. The Gotham Cathedral. I'd recognize GCPD Central anywhere. That's the courthouse. must represent the years those buildings were built or renovated by the court. dates on the wall. represent different kinds of power structures in the city. No wonder the court's interested in them. Of course. I should have known it was you. Well, where are you? 
go to the painting. So you made it here, all by yourself. You think I'd let you destroy Gotham without a fight? Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You're not the first masked villain to try to sell me that one. The only one hiding behind the mask is you, Miss Gordon. Jacob? Kane? How... I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just our court is quieter about it. You're not protecting this city. You and your cult are using it as your personal playground. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends. The same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. Unlike you, I don't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. I know you killed Langstrom, Betty's assistant. Is that what you call protection? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce fought for something bigger than himself. You just want power. He never would have allowed this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. Don't compare us, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. Crap. Have to get back to the ballroom. Counting on that. Belfry, the League of Shadows is here. Understood. Paramedics have been called.
It's a massacre! and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the League. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane to Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. Got some more data for the board. 